Let's start. Um, good evening, everyone, uh, and um, thank you for joining us tonight in our uh, design community meeting for Como Area Street Improvement 2018 Bond Year 3 Contract 5, City Project Number uh, 101452. Uh, first, I would like to uh, thank Mr. Brian Baird, uh, our City Council member, and uh, Mr. Michael Crane, uh, our district director, uh, for giving us the opportunity to have this meeting. Uh, my name is Maggie Zaki, and I am uh, the project manager with the City of Fort Worth Transportation and Public Work Department Capital Delivery Team. And I will be the project manager for this project during the design and construction. This presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the scope of this project and proposed improvement um, will, uh, that will be happening in your area and also get your input during the design. In this presentation, I will talk in detail about the project overview and the scope of the work. Also, I will provide you with some information about the project phase and schedule so you can know when we um, will advertise the project, when we'll start and complete the construction, and how long the construction will take. During the meeting, you can send your questions through the chat option in WebEx. Uh, the chat button is located at the lower right side of the WebEx screen here. Um, at the end of the meeting, I will answer all your questions. If you are joining the meeting from your phone or you cannot send your question, please feel free to unmute yourself and ask your question at the end of this presentation. Uh, in this project, we have five streets. Uh, the first street is Volder Drive from Barton Hill Road to Oak Forest Drive. The second street is uh, Luck Avenue from Sevington Place to Mary's Lane. Also, we have Harvey Street from Diaz Avenue to Wellesley Avenue. We have Levy Avenue from Little Beach Street all the way to Ferrum Street. And the last street in this project will be Humbert Avenue from Horn Street to Ferron Street. On Volder Avenue, uh, we will replace the existing six inch water line with new eight inch water line. Uh, the old six inch sanitary sewer lines at the back of the houses, this green line, uh, will be replaced with new eight inch sewer line. Volder Street will receive new asphalt paving with new concrete curb and gutter. All existing concrete driveways will be reconstructed. And we will add a new five foot concrete sidewalk on the north side of uh, Volder Drive here on this side uh, with new ADA ramps at the intersection. Luck Avenue will replace the existing six inch water line with new eight inch water lines. We also will replace the old six inch sanitary sewer line with new eight inch water line, uh, sorry, sewer line. The street will receive new asphalt paving with new concrete curb and gutter. New concrete driveways will be constructed with 11 foot width and 10 foot length. Also, we'll add a new five feet concrete sidewalk on the north side of Luck Avenue, also on the north side, from Sabiton Place to Olive Place, with new ADA ramps. 
the remaining area from um, from Olive Place to Mary's Lane is apart from another project which will take place later in 2021. So by the end of these two projects, uh, you will have a new concrete sidewalk on the north side of Luck Avenue. Harvey Street uh, will uh, will have a new asphalt paving with new concrete curb and gutter. And also we are adding new concrete driveways to all the properties with 11 foot wide and 10 foot length. On Levy Avenue, uh, we'll replace the existing six inch water line with new eight inch water lines. The street will receive new asphalt paving and a new concrete curb and gutter. Also, uh, we are uh, we are constructing new driveways to all the properties with 11 foot width and 10 feet length. Humbert Avenue, we are going to replace the uh, old six inch water lines with new eight inch water line. The street will receive new asphalt paving and a new concrete curb and gutter. We also will construct a new concrete uh, driveway to all the properties with 11 foot width and 10 feet length. Also, we are adding a new concrete uh, sidewalk, uh, five foot width on the north side of the street with new AD ramps. In this slide, uh, you can see the existing condition of the streets. This picture are from uh, Harvey Avenue. Um, you can see clearly the poor condition of the uh, of the asphalt paving, no concrete curb and gutter. Also, on the other photo, you can see uh, damaged driveway. Also, on this slide, you can see um, this picture from Humbert Avenue, and you can see the poor condition also from the uh, paving from the, of the street. New, no concrete curb and gutter. And on the other side, on the right side, uh, also this picture is from Levy Avenue, and you can see the poor condition of the driveway. There is no concrete. Uh, just some gravel on the grass. In this slide, you can see the proposed improvement. So every street in this project will look like that when we finish the construction. New asphalt paving, new concrete curb and gutter, also new concrete driveways. Here also you will see uh, once you will finish the construction, new concrete uh, sidewalk and AD ramps. Uh, here is the most important part in my presentation. Uh, this slide uh, shows you the expected schedule of the project. Uh, right now, we are uh, working to complete the design phase. And we are going to advertise the project uh, next month. Uh, receiving the bid and bid opening will be in November this year. Um, due to the holiday season in December, the council approval will be in January 2021. Um, if everything is going well, we expect to have the construction community meeting and begin construction in April 2021. The construction duration is one year, so we, are, we expect to complete the construction uh, by April 2022. Again, the project duration and construction duration for this project will be one year. Uh, during the con uh, once we have the construction public me uh, meeting or community meeting in April, you will know who is the contractor and the city inspector in this project. Also, um, we will talk more in detail about the construction schedule for each street separately. So you will know when we, when we, uh, we are going to start in your street exactly. 
this is my phone number and my email address. Uh, please feel free to contact me if you need any information. Uh, I hope I have covered everything in this presentation. Again, thank you uh, for taking the time to listen uh, to this presentation. I am so sorry that we couldn't meet in person uh, due to the public concerns. And now this is the time to listen to your input or question. Uh, and let us start first with the question came from the chat. Um, and after that, you are welcome to unmute yourself and ask your question. Magid, we currently don't have any questions in chat, but we do have a call-in user. If your phone number ends in the digits 8-4, I'm going to unmute you if you have any questions. Do you have any questions, call-in user? No. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I have a question. I'm not sure if anyone can hear me. Yes, yes we sir. can hear you. Okay, you may have answered this. I had kids running around, so I missed some of it. Did I hear correctly that all streets on this project are getting sidewalks? Boulder Street? Yeah, I'm specifically asking about Boulder, but will they be getting new yes. sidewalks? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we have we have uh, a five foot concrete sidewalk uh, on Boulder uh, on the north side. Okay. Um, so it will be only on one side. Okay, that five makes foot, sense. Yeah, uh, with uh, with uh, some ADA ramps at the intersection. And then when it talks about the driveways being uh, reconstructed, is that all the way up to the house or is that just the, you know, the five or six foot part that's the city uh, lines or whatever? How much of the driveways are reconstructed? Yeah, it will be, be to the city right of way, uh, which is going to be around uh, 10 foot length. Okay. So just about mm -hmm. about like the ramp and then onto the driveway and then that a little bit further and that's it? Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. And I saw a timeline slide. Could I, could I see that again? And this is for all projects? Yeah. Okay. So hoping to have council approval by the end of early next year. I'm sorry, beginning next year and then begin construction in the spring of next year? Uh, yes. Okay. Awesome. Well, that's great information to have. Is this slide deck something that we could reference for access, or is this just a one-time use only? Uh, I am not sure if we, uh, if I can send this slide to you, but uh, um, the project have a website on the city website so we can update all the information on the website okay great i, I can ask you offline because i see your email and your phone numbers on the flyer we got yes um okay. you are welcome anytime to contact me perfect okay thank you so much you're welcome Magid, we are also recording this so it will be um, a YouTube video on the city website. Thank you, Sam. Uh, is there any other question? There are no questions in the chat. Uh, this is the same person, Daniel, again, I do have one more follow up on the driveway reconstructions. Is that only the north side or the north and south side? No, the driveway uh, reconstruction will be on both sides. All the okay. property on Boulder, yeah, 
we'll have a new driveway. And and the Volder one covers, I want to say, three blocks or so. Is that something that would be done in phases, or will they just tear it all up at once and just move down the line? Um, this will be done in phases, and uh, we'll keep the uh, street open for traffic for all the time. Okay. Uh, except if we have, like, uh, we are laying the asphalt, so only this time the street be, will be closed, but most of the time the street will be open for traffic, at least one lane opened. Okay, and where do residents just have to park on the side streets? Uh, yes, once uh, before we start the construction, uh, one week in advance, we'll send uh, you the uh, construction notice, so you will know what time we're gonna start the construction, and where you can park. Okay. Uh, so we have two notices, one, uh, one notice before uh, seven days uh, before we start the construction and the other notice would be one day before we start. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, any other questions? There's nothing in the chat and we only have one call in user. So since we don't have any other question, uh, thank you so much for attending this meeting. Uh, again, my, uh, my information are here. Uh, please feel free to contact me. Thank you so much.